Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration of how to preload a taper roller wheel bearing on a vehicle. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. This video is strictly for a tapered roller wheel bearing and preload torque values will depend on the manufacturer's specifications, so be sure to double check those. Tapered roller wheel bearings must be preloaded and seated correctly, otherwise you do risk having premature failure. This type of bearing should be checked about every 12,000 miles, 20,000 kilometers, or once a year. But this will vary between manufacturers, so check your owner's manual. When I refer to checked, this can mean removed to inspect for damage, lubricated, or torqued. For this particular vehicle, I have installed a new wheel bearing. If you are just retorquing the wheel bearing, you must remove the cotter pin and then back the nut off about three turns. The next step now applies to both newly installed and existing tapered roller wheel bearings. This can be done by feel or with the use of a torque wrench. For this procedure, I will be using a torque wrench. For this particular vehicle, the torque values are 204 to 300 inch pounds to seat the bearing. Back it off a half a turn and then retorque it again to 18 to 20 inch pounds. Rotate the hub which will help seat the bearing while tightening. Again the first value is 204 to 300 inch pounds. Considering there are a wide range between the factory specifications I will be torquing this to 260 inch pounds. Now back the nut off half a turn. and retorque it to 18 to 20 inch pounds. For me I'll be using 20 inch pounds as a torque value. Once finished, ensure there is no play. Then install the metal retaining cap and orient the cap in such a way so the holes line up for the cotter pin. Install a new cotter pin and bend over the ends. It is important to install a new cotter pin as these can become brittle once bent a few times which can risk being broken off inside. Reinstall the grease cap. Tap it into place using a hammer. Be careful not to damage the cap. If the cap doesn't go on all the way, use a flat chisel to assist around the edge. This concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.